setup is I'm wearing a set of headphones. Mm -hmm. and I can hear the actors and whoever, whichever band members I want to hear in my ears. And then I have a microphone that's only for the actor or for the, the musicians back here, so I can give them verbal hints. I'll be like, okay, we're at measure 57. I get ready to go, so I can talk to them, um, and they can pick up all those cues, visual, you know, at least through their own headset. And then this camera here takes a shot of me. And if you go out into the house, I notice that there's a couple of monitors hanging off the balcony. Mm -hmm. So the actors can be looking at me in real time. So if I have to give them specific cues, you know, they can watch my hands or I can give them a head nod, whatever. And that sort of, that keeps us coordinated because otherwise doing this without any of the electronics would be a disaster. Oh, I imagine. If there were no microphones and if this was live, it would be a disaster. But luckily, you know, with technology, we can play in an area like this. And what I like about being in a separate space from the actors, even though for me, I, I don't get quite the emotional connection as I do when I'm in rehearsal, what I like about being here is it allows the musicians to play with a greater dynamic range. Mm -hmm. Because if you're in a pit, constantly they're telling you, the drummer's too loud, can the guitarist play softer? So we're, we're playing like we're on little toys and we never feel like we're part of the dynamic of the show, and especially with a show like this, when there's such a huge gamut of emotion that's running mm -hmm. musically, you know, and with um, and through the script and the story, we need to be there to support them. And if we mm -hmm. have to keep playing softer, 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 it doesn't quite gel. But here, it's great because mm -hmm. we're backstage, we have an open space, we can play as soft as we need to or as loudly as we need to, mm -hmm. and not be told, you know, sort of put a lid on it because it's Jason's job, our great sound designer to sort of help us out and and, um, and to conquer that balance and to make it work so all the pieces sort of line up but we all do it without seeing each other which yeah is it is it I mean is it sort of difficult to not be able to make direct eye contact or is um, it something you get used to eventually you get used to it eventually you know you just sort mm -hmm. of feel like you've got you know I, I sort of tap into the actor's energy and, and like I said I, I have them on headphones mm -hmm. and I can hear them singing and I can hear them breathing oh, no. singing now or they're going to do something now. So at least I have that oral connection. Sure. I might not have the physical connection, but at least it's here. It's sort of like coming from the inside of my head. Sure. Um, when I was home this week, I was going to the score just to make sure that I kept it in my fingers and I could literally hear the actors singing in my head. And I'm like, oh, it, it, it was very ghostly. I could hear Jonathan singing. I could hear Deb singing. And it was sort of, it was sort of fun to go, oh, I haven't heard this in a while, but here's the voices that are with me. You know, and this, wow. these are the characters that are with me. And probably if I do the show over again, that's who I'm going to be hearing until I, I learn it with another cast. But um, I, I must admit, as a musical director, I prefer being in a entirely separate space. Mm -hmm. I know audiences like to see the musicians. And when I go to a show, the first thing I do is I look in the pit because I want to see them. But if I'm constantly looking at the musicians, I'm disconnected from the play. Mm. And it... We're not to be invisible because we're a very important part of the show. We're the heartbeat of the story. Absolutely. We need to be there, but not in a distracting sense. And my understanding, I never saw this Broadway show, was that the musicians were on stage. And there's this whole question and discussion going on. You know, should the musicians be on stage? Should they be part of the show? And as a musician, I find it distracting. I want to, and that's my own personal mm -hmm. opinion. So people love it. They love having an actor being right up against them. I don't. You know, I want to be separate. I want to support what they're doing, but I don't want to be sitting in their story because it just it just feels awkward to me. So I was thrilled when they told me that the act that the musicians were not going to be integrated into the set. I did the happy dance. Was that something also that was nice to think about that you could be completely yourselves back here? You wouldn't have to worry about and you aren't on stage for the audience to see as well. Yes, because I know musicians typically don't like that. Mm -hmm. you know, um, if you're working in a union house, you know, and they're doing a show, they're like, is it a tuck show? Do I have to get specially dressed up? And directors always raise cane because, you know, sometimes the musicians are just sitting there looking bored and they're like, can't they be more involved? Right. They, they're not actors. Yeah, That's they're here their for their music. Their give them a horn and give them some music and yeah, they'll be involved, but if they have to sit while action's going on, it can be really distracting. Absolutely. You know, so I, I think it's better if we're sort of in our own worlds sure. and through the miracles of modern technology, those worlds connect and they marry. That's, That's amazing. Like. That's really incredible. Great.
Very amazing. Yeah, and the, like I said, and this is a great show for it because there are some rock elements to the score. Mm -hmm. you know, it can get really loud, and it can. And what's great is that we can drive it, and we can just sort of, you know, lay into the sound. Um, but it's. Uh, I, I know audiences sort of think that other singing to a CD. Not at all. Not, no, no. No. And I've worked shows where they where you are singing to a CD. Really? Yeah. And there, I understand them for some reasons, but I always think that live music is better. I think audiences, I think they, they can hear the difference because if you're if you're playing solely to tracks, and nine times out of ten, if you're working with tracks, they do have some live musicians playing in case the tracks go down and right. then there's nothing. Um, then it's always the same. And mm -hmm. you can't play off of the energy that you're being fed from the audience, or even if the actors are having a fantastic night, mm -hmm. you can sort of, you know, be there to, be, you know, tap into that energy. But if they're singing to the same music, the same tempo, the same right. blah, blah blah every night, it's I don't think it's it's as exciting. Well, and I'm yeah. sure just being able to follow, follow the musician, and yeah. you know take like pause when they need pauses exactly. and yeah you there's know, and it, you know with any show it's going to be different every night you sort of set your parameters and I mean you have to have some sort of lee you know there's a little bit of leeway and there here are the parameters that so we don't go too far outside it but within that wilgo room really wonderful things can happen if it's live if it's not live you know it yeah wonderful things can happen but not not as well I think as if you've got seven bodies here, you know, beating and playing and sort of hanging in there with you to create something special. You know, wow. a once in a lifetime thing because as soon as we stop playing, it's gone. Super